For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do these two problems that basically they want you to break down F1 and F2 in Cartesian vectors and then they want you to find the resultant force and measure the the angle that it forms with the x-axis so here kind of clockwise so to do this let's break down the forces f1 is equal to negative 30k sine of 30 degrees i minus 30k cosine of 30 degrees j when you calculate this, you're going to get that is equal to negative 15k in the i direction minus 25.98k in the j direction. F2 is negative 26k times 5 over 3, I mean, sorry, times 5 over 13 in the i direction plus 26k times 12 over 13 in the j direction. When you calculate this, you get that is equal to negative 10k in the i direction plus 24k in the j direction. When you add this up, you got to add the x with the x, the y's with the y's, and you're going to get that the, that's an i, I swear. The resultant force is negative 25k in the i direction minus 2k in the j direction. They almost cancel out in the y um, axis, along the y axis. To calculate the magnitude, you got to do the square root of the x square component and the y square component all together. And it comes out to be 25.07. And to calculate the angle that it forms with the um, with the x-axis first you're gonna find phi which is gonna be okay this is gonna be negative 25 in the i plus 2 so the resultant force is gonna be somewhere around here to find this angle we're gonna do the tangent inverse of the y over the x component and we're gonna get that the angle is equal to 4.57 actually I did I drew this wrong I'm sorry let me erase this this is this is aiming down so the resultant force is that direction so to find this angle so this is the angle that we just found to find this whole angle all we got to do is add 180 degrees to this result so beta is going to be 184.57 degrees which is this angle plus 180 to find this angle so final answer for the angle final answer for the magnitude of the resultant force